great morning everyone and welcome again to my channel. And today, pag-uusapan natin, ano ba yung mga skincare ingredients na kailangan i-avoid during pregnancy? And isi-share ko na din sa inyo yung aking morning skincare regimen during my pregnancy. Wait lang, I noticed that most of you are not yet subscribed. Please subscribe to my channel so I can continue my advocacy of empowering women and spreading good vibes positivity and beauty every week. Please subscribe to my channel for your weekly dose of beauty and inspiration. As you can see, I'm very much pregnant. <laughs> Ayan. O, diba? I'm currently four months pregnant and it is a very sensitive pregnancy. I need to be keen on everything that I put into my body, whether outside or inside, especially the food that I eat. So, importante rin na kailangan alam natin ano ba yung mga ingredients ng skincare na kailangan nating i-avoid kapag buntis tayo, no? So, sa so mga friends ko dyan, sa aking mga mahal na viewers na pregnant and are planning to be pregnant, these are the things that you need to avoid in your skincare. Number one, uh, retinoids. So, retinoids is a derivative of vitamin A. So, the skincare ingredient is really, really good in anti-aging. Alam nyo ba yung pantanggal ng mga fine lines, wrinkles, and I've been using Mary Kay skincare with retinoids before. Uh, to be specific, it's the Time Wise Repair which is really helping me to, to keep my skin younger looking. However, when I started to plan about pregnancy, especially when we started the IVF process, I need to remove that from my skincare regimen already, no? Si Mary Kay naman, meron naman siyang preventive anti-aging, which is the TimeWise 3D. So, pwede kang mag-switch into TimeWise 3D if, if you really want to use anti-aging skincare. Another ingredient is the salicylic acid and anything that is anti-acne. So, kailangan avoid natin yan because alam nyo ba, yung mga active ingredients na yan, kapag in-apply natin sa balat natin, it goes into our bloodstream. And ayaw naman natin of course na magkaroon ng negative impact kay baby yung mga skincare na ginagamit natin. So, if you are having issues with pimples uh, during the pregnancy, I would suggest that use mga natural anti-acne lang muna. Like, for example, I used to use a mixture of apple cider vinegar, 1 is to 1 with water. Nilalagay ko siya sa tip ng pimple ko para mabilis siyang matuyo. Vitamin C, no? So, lemon, calamansi. Ayan, medyo ina-applyan ko ng vitamin C yung mga affected area kapag mayroon akong pimple para hindi ako ma-temp na maglagay ng anything with salicylic acid. Another skincare ingredient we need to avoid is the hydroquinone. So, yung mga nabibili po natin sa butika, na mga astringent, na may pang peel, most of them have hydroquinone, so kailangan po iwasan natin yon. Or even at the time na nagpa-plan pa lang siguro tayo, no? Three months, alisin na natin siya sa skincare regimen natin. Ayan, another ingredient that we need to avoid is formaldehyde. Kung may mga skincare kayo na may formaldehyde, kahit hindi po kayo buntis, huwag niyo pong gamitin yan, di ba? Here is the list of the ingredients that you need to check sa skincare ninyo to make sure na wala dyang working group ng formaldehyde, okay? Ayan, another ingredient that we need to avoid is talates. Ayan, talates. Yung talates, uh, or yung BPA, di ba may nakikita kayo ng mga water bottles na nakalagay BPA-free? Ayan, so yung talates, hindi siya specifically nasa loob ng product, but minsan nasa packaging. So kapag sobrang mura yung binibili mo na skincare na nakalagay siya sa, alam mo yun, pag hinawakan mo yung plastic mukhang cheap, ayan, be careful and be aware if yung lalagyan ng skincare mo may talates. No, kasi even if you're not pregnant, it's not good for you. Ayan, so I'm so glad to share with you that all Mary Kay products and packaging doesn't have talate. And finally, avoid chemical sunscreen. So, sa chemical sunscreen naman, yung ingredients na kailangan nating bantayan is yung oxybenzone. Oxybenzone. So, this is a very active UV filter ingredient. However, the problem is it's not good for our skin and it's not even good for the environment. It is also known as an endocrine disrupting chemical. So, nakaka-disrupt siya sa hormones natin. And of course, when you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant, kailangan yung hormones mo balancing balance. So, these are the top skincare ingredients na kailangan natin iwasan 
during pregnancy or even during the time na nagpaplano kang magbuntis. Now, isi-share ko naman sa inyo yung aking morning skincare regimen using my, of course, favorite Mary Kay products that I've been using for over 15 years already. Ayan. So, my skincare regimen is always based on the five essential steps, which is the cleansing, exfoliating, toning or serum, moisturization, or hydration, and finally, protection. So, especially ngayon, because my skin have become super sensitive, if you can notice, ayan, meron ako mga redness dyan sa may gilid ng ilong ko, and medyo nagda-dry yung skin ko ngayon. So, I'm not using a specific skincare line in Mary Kay, so I'm basically mixing and matching different skincare products that addresses, of course, my age. I'm 40 mm, <laughs> already. So, kailangan may anti-aging, but iniiwasan natin yung anti-aging with vitamin A. Uh, number two is my skin type. So, I have normal to dry skin at this moment. So, I'm using skincare ingredients that will help me hydrate my skin. Number three is my skin concern. So, meron akong mga discoloration na lumalabas dyan. Of course, it's because of the pregnancy hormones. So, kailangan kong i-address yan. And finally, yung skin goal ko, na gusto ko pa rin na maging... Younger looking yung skin ko, but avoiding ingredients that will affect my pregnancy. So, simula na natin. First, my cleanser is I'm using the Lumi V Foaming Cleanser in the morning. So, iba yung panghilamos ko sa gabi. And, and meron akong separate vlog ng aking skincare regimen at night. Yan, mas konti yung skincare regimen ko in the morning. So, super simple lang siya. So, I just wash my face. So, if you can see, bare yung face ko. Wala rin ako makeup. Nakilay lang ako ng konti para makilala nyo pa ako, no? So, um, konting-konti lang ng ating Lumivie Cleanser. In fact, P-size lang talaga. So, ganyan lang ka konti yung lalagay natin. Of course, I have um, water here. So, babasain ko lang yung face ko. So, ilather lang natin yung cleanser and i-apply na natin siya sa face. Make sure that you are using your beauty fingers when you are washing your face and use the upward-outward motion. Ayan. So, magsisimula ka sa baba para kontrahin yung force of gravity and then move upwards up outwards all right so balawan na natin siya ayan tubuwasan yung kilay ko <laughs> and of course to yung ina natin siya Ayan, so super fresh na yung face natin, no? So, the Lumivi Skin Care is really good for skin brightening. It has mild anti-aging and it's really good for normal to dry skin. Actually, for all skin type naman siya. So, my next step in the morning, to address my anti-aging concern, I'm using Replenishing Serum C plus E. Ayan. So, serum is a really important part of our skincare regimen. So, ako, I can skip the toner. Um, especially because I don't have pores, wow. no? Ayan. Trivia, alam nyo ba dati, ang pores ko, ang lalaki. Dati, that would mean 15 years ago. So, nagsimula ako sa Mary Kay, gusto ko lang talagang patanggal yung mga pores ko. And one of my favorite product that I've been using for almost 14 years is the microdermabrasion. And I believe, yan yung naging secret weapon ko kung bakit tatanggal yung mga open pores ko. So, if you want to see my vlog about microdermabrasion, lalagay ko din siya sa video description below. So, ngayon, isa sa mga in ko or in ko muna sa skin regimen ko is yung aking microdermabrasion. And if you will see in my evening skincare routine na pinalitan ko muna siya ng Mary Kay Naturally Exfoliating Powder. Kasi yung exfoliating powder na yun is more natural. It's 100% natural, in fact. And mas mild sa skin. I'm showing you paano gamitin. So, ang maganda dito sa Replenishing Serum C plus E, meron siyang takal sa likod. O, ba Takalan. Yan. So, may measurement siya so that you can be sure that your skin is getting enough dose of vitamin C and vitamin E every day. Ayan. It's really good. So, apply lang natin siya. Spread lang natin siya ng mabilis kasi mabilis siyang maabsorb ng skin. Ayan. So, yung isang option, kapag sobra-sobra talaga yung dryness ng skin ko, pwede mong i-mix yung naturally nourishing oil and yung replenishing serum plus E. But ako, today, hindi ko siya i-mix dahil nakalimutan ko. So, ayan, maglalagay na lang ako separately. 
ng nourishing oil. It will help address yung dryness ng skin, no? Because it is a natural oil made of almond. Yan. And, of course, refreshes my skin. Next is the eye cream. In reality, mabilis lang to. Madalda lang ako. <laughs> so, yung eye cream, diretso na natin siya. Ay! Sa ating orbital bone area. Ayan. Yung eye cream is very important kasi di ba, aside from the eye is the window to the soul, the eye is the window to your age too. Diyan nalalaman kung ano bang age range mo kapag ka ang dami mo ng crow's feet dyan at saka yung mga lines dyan na palabas. Yan, minsan kapag ka hindi masyado nagmamadali, may time tayong magmassage using my rose quartz roller. Ayan, so... Para ma-infuse natin yung serum na nilagay natin dyan. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. I super love rose quartz. Obvious ba? Ayan. Kasi it symbolizes self-love. And alam nyo na, mahirap pagpuntis. Lalo na kapag nabilihe. So, kailangan dagdaga ng self-love. Wow. Ayan. And finally, so I'm using the Time Moist 3D Day Cream with SPF 30. Ayan. Although, minsan, mas feel ko ang ilagay itong SPF 50, lalo na kapag lalabas ako. The only difference between SPF 30 and SPF 50 is SPF 30 provides 97% of UV rays protection, while SPF 50 provides 98% of UV rays protection. Eh, 1% lang naman pala. Ang difference nila. But, you know, every protection is important, di ba? Dahil lalo na kapag preggy ka, ang bilis mag-darken, magkaroon ng discoloration ng skin mo. So, kailangan extra-extra uh, ang protection ng balat. So, sa paglalagay ng sunblock, dapat um, tinatap-tap mo lang siya. Just make sure na lahat na lalagyan. Yeah, so, dapat hindi mo siya yung parang pinupunas na ganyan na walang natitira. Dapat, ano, tapping motion. Ayan. Tapos, kung spread mo siya, make sure na may natitira. Kasi, minsan, kala mo ang dami mong nilagay. Pero, wala, wala, wala. Hindi, hindi ka na physically protect. Sometimes, kapag feel ko, I use the Honey Glow Finisher instead of the Time Wise 3D Day Cream. Wala lang pag feel ko lang. Or, minsan naman, Lalo na pag lalabas ako, I really use yung SPF 50 para mas um, increase yung protection. Yeah. Ang final step nito is to put foundation. Alam niyo naman sa Mary Kay, ang foundation ay hindi cosmetics, kundi part siya ng skincare because it provides physical protection on your skin. Alternatively, kapag hindi naman ako lalabas, ang nilalagay ko is itong Complexion Correction Cream with SPF 15 for additional physical and chemical protection using SPF. So, depende kung ano yung activity ko for the day. Or kung may mga video calls ako at maghapon ako nasa harap ng computer. Ayan, I use the liquid foundation. Pero, if katulad ngayon, wala naman ako masyadong online activity. Dito lang ako sa bahay. Hindi rin ako lalabas. I just use the CC cream. Of course, using my Mary Kay blending brush. Ayan! Tapos na po ako. Ang kasunod dito ay alagyan ko na siya ng sheer mineral powder para plastado. And that's it! Pansit! That's it! Mga magaganda kong sisters na mga buntis at gustong magbuntis. And share na rin ninyo sa mga friends ninyo or mga customers na buntis or nagpaplanong magbuntis because yung mga hormone altering ingredients sa mga skincare. Kailangan talaga i-avoid yan. So, those are my pregnancy skincare tips. I hope that you learned something today. And, um, I have a series. It's gonna be at least 7 videos all about pregnancy. And, isi-share ko na din sa inyo yung aking pregnancy journey. So, abangan nyo po yan. It's a bit dramatic kasi, alam nyo, yung journey ko na to is napaka-challenging. It took us so many years. Eventually, I will be sharing more about pregnancy tips and tricks sa inyo. So, abangan nyo po yan and share it with your friends. No, and I hope that you subscribe to my channel for your weekly dose of beauty, inspiration, and pregnancy. Oh, ba? Ayan. See you on the next video. Bye!